Well, hello, single color build challenge. We haven't seen you around here for a while. That's because we ran out of colors to do, but I was just moving my dark turquoise bricks from their little container into a drawer because there's finally enough to put them into one of my sorting drawers. But is there enough to do a build challenge out of just dark turquoise bricks? Oh, that shouldn't be in here. We're going to need that helmet. I think we're going to need every single brick that I can find in this color because this is only really used as an accent color. <laughs> in Lego and I also I love using it as an accent color too so I, I use it in all my mocks like my own builds so oh, this is all, kind of all I have left that's mm. so this will be fun yay challenge right but uh, we need some accessories because that's what actually makes it interesting and even in my accessory containers there's no turquoise in here like nothing I love the fact these are see-through and I can actually see uh is there anything oh yeah we got one one thing one thing people we have got a boom box in dark turquoise right we can work with this <laughs> can we though <laughs> okay let's have a look at what we have in mini doll parts because really that's this is where we start this is how I actually get an idea for a functional build so we've got some aerials that have got turquoise we've got Regana her hair actually has a turquoise blend on the back and her tops turquoise little Mirabelle's the turquoise I'm saying turquoise too much but it is a too much build challenge turquoise it's Elsa's coronation dress in turquoise this is uh Amelia from the Lego friends line this new character Freya is all wearing like turquoise on the top and the bottom we got some oh, we got a little baby we got some micro dolls so we do definitely have some ideas for characters but we also have some really good body part choices too uh, especially in a uh, like Andrea's skin tone there's lots and lots of turquoise pieces in what's her skin tone color called I think it's medium nougat yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, that is it so we've got heaps and heaps like diversity fantastic we're actually nice and strong <laughs> in this medium nougat skin tone here in this color and that we don't then have many other skin tones to mix, mix and match Freya is the only one in this color yet so we're not gonna be able to mix and match her okay this is going to be yeah all right but let's have a look we are actually pretty spoiled for parts here in yeah in mini doll parts in this dark turquoise color got a few leg pieces so many torsos though hmm. okay I'm getting so excited now but I still I don't even know where to start so lots of choices here and oh, hair pieces there are less hair pieces to choose from than we would normally have actually that's not true when you get into colored hair pieces unless it's normal like conventionally normal hair piece colors that we tend to not have too many choices so let's have a look we could put we could put this on Freya and she could be like a disco girl oh there's actually enough boy parts here to do because there's headphones boy hair too which is in nougat oh, not nougat in turquoise oh my gosh my brain's all gone so let's just find a face which has got some dark green eyes because that's gonna kind of work for turquoise look we could have them they could be a couple like the the beatbox couple and I want to use the fairy wings though and I have a cape <laughs> I just want to use all the things Oh my gosh, right. But you know, they could be themed with the boombox and then I could build a build around that, but I just don't know what I would build. But we do have some really cute animals, which is great. Thanks to the cubes, we have like animals of unlikely colors. So lots and lots of animal choices here, including Hey Hey, he's got some turquoise on him, chameleons, tiger, little pug, the sloth, a kitten. I reckon we could give the pug maybe to these guys and they could be... I just don't know. I'm not feeling it yet, but I do like the fact we've got a little family here. I could put this outfit with this pharaoh's or like Egyptian headdress. That looks amazing. Oh, I don't even have a stick piece to make her a staff or anything like that in turquoise. I don't know where to go with like I need an asp, a snake in turquoise. Don't have one. Or I could take Elsa's coronation gown and I could use the cape on Elsa. <laughs> and I could use Anna's face because her eyes are turquoise <laughs> and maybe if we're being like a little bit insane we could use I just love these cat ears this cat ear headdress I don't think it goes though we could just put a m kind of normal hair piece on and we could have this mix of Anna and Elsa this fan fiction idea maybe or I don't know do we do an Egyptian build do we do an Anna Elsa alternate universe kind of build but I really want to use this hairpiece I want to use the fairy wings <laughs> I just want to use all the things maybe we could use so we have a mermaid tail in turquoise thanks to the latest aerial set and oh like a 
Oh, dogfish? No, a catfish. Oh, this is, we are here. So we've got a cat top with turquoise on it. Can use this face because I love it. It's got, she's got turquoise eyes. <laughs> she looks so worried. You should look worried because we're going to use the cat hair. So we have created a catfish. We're going to do a catfish reel because we can give like a whole catfish family. We can have the kid, like the kitten <laughs> and turquoise and the mini Ariel has got a little turquoise tail. So we can give her the the cat hair too. Ta-da! I present the catfish family. This is what we are building today, but I still want to use the fairy wings. And I want to use this headdress. I think, mmm, I, let's start here. Let's start with the catfish family and see if I can do something cohesive, like a little scene, because I have barely any bricks. I really don't have a lot of bricks. And base plate, like plate kind of things to put it on, also quite limited. We have, these are kind of the biggest ones that I have, and then they start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So we could actually just put them on a display like this. I could make like a mini display thing. That makes me think I want to use one of the other characters. Maybe we can, this, maybe this is going to be a series, a series of too much turquoise bells with all the different characters I can make. <laughs> but we do have, we do have uh, coral pieces in turquoise. Thank you. So this is going to be perfect for an under the water build. And I'll just kind of layer these on. This can be the feature part. We can put this on here and then I can put that centralized at the back of the build maybe. Oh, and we've got nice big curved wall pieces from the trolls set and we're not going to see that sticker because that's going to be on the back so if they frame the coral and then the coral's going to be like negative space because we have just one tone of dark turquoise that's it we are using one shade so we're going to need like see-through bits so that's going to be in the negative space going to make a frame for the front of it so build that up a bit like like turquoise rocks <laughs> under the sea so if we build that up a bit and make some angles That'll look a bit more interesting. And then I can make a window framey kind of thing for the coral. <gasps> I could make it, if we cover like that, maybe I could make it look like a teardrop, teardrop shape. Will that work? And I put this tubey column thing, which has a sticky outfit, which I can attach stuff to, which is good because there are no sticks in turquoise. There are no claws in turquoise. There are like one tiny weeny clip, like there's little clips in turquoise, but that's it. Like small clips, there's barely, there are, barely any forward facing studs. We are limited in the shapes that we get in this color, but it made a really nice turquoise frame here. So I'm just going to see if I can finish it off and make the frame for the backdrop here look nice. So we're just going to be creating a little tiny vignette, I think, for this, for this catfish family <laughs> to live under the sea in their turquoise realm. And I can smooth this over here. I reckon there you go. It's a frame and then we do have a bedspread piece which is perfect for this it's got shells on it and everything so that stick is nice but I want to extend this out a bit and I'm just gonna leave it floating till I decide what I want to do with the bed and what I want to do further out here so these pieces from the dots are they've got little stars and swirls and dots they can be like eddies and tide pools in the water and I don't care what I have to call them to make them end up in here like a starfish because they're just going to add some color <laughs> to an otherwise single color build like some definition so I reckon I could make a couple of these and just plant them around on the ground and it'll look really cute well it's not really ground like on the seafloor on the catfish floor <laughs> uh, so where are we going to put them and what are we going to utilize them for like we can make a seat out of one maybe we could sit this one up at the back how far back can I get that I don't know I reckon I'm gonna I might try and build this up a little bit so we've got a bit more dimension so I'm just gonna like just gonna sit it here for now and then we will decide where it goes as we go on yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's, it's going to have to go higher than that. So we'll find out what we're going to do. So I've got all these nice curved tile pieces and we're going to use them as a... Well, I'll show you. <laughs> we've got curved pieces here and I want to use the curved tile pieces to make like a tiley staircase to go up towards the bed. But it also looks like waves, kind of, because I have lots and lots of those nice tile smooth pieces, these ones. So now we've got some different levels. We can start layering them up. I just have to make sure there's enough bricks under them to for the foundation. We are using a minimal amount of bricks here because I do not have many. Oh, we could curve that around to the other side. Take that all the way over here. And then, then we could make this, yeah, no, no, move the uh, circle bit over and that'll hold these together. And that can then be a little tide pool. See, how cute will that be? Ah, so that's the idea, but we'll keep working over here. 
and this one can go up and we can put another curved tile here. So it does, it looks like little wavy steps that can sit up nice and high now. And then we'll just make the bed, yeah, quite a bit of a feature in the middle. <laughs> and it's curved too, everything's curved because there are plenty of nice turquoise yeah, curved bricks. We'll fill that out here. Gosh, I used quite a few of my valuable bricks just to hold the bed up. Okay, that's really cute. I love the little the little tide pools there. They're so nice. Now, got another couple of pieces of coral, so I reckon I can stick this one on this pokey out bit there. That looks great. And then maybe maybe I could put another one over on this side. No, let's make another little tide pooly kind of bit over here. An extension of the tide pool. I just like saying tide pool. Little eddies. I just love that too. That's really cute. They can be like little starfish. We'll put another one there. That looks really pretty. <laughs> it breaks up all that really stark turquoise. And I have two of these, uh, these shell pieces, like flags, and they can sit on either side. And I've got a couple, like, well, not many of these angle bracket pieces with the forward-facing studs. That's the, <laughs> there's so few forward-facing studs uh, pieces in, in the dark turquoise. So we got one on one side. We'll do the same thing for the other side. So it's just a bit symmetrical. It's gonna be the cutest little vignette. Look at that, it's already, I mean, we're pretty much done. So, but we do have a bit of space on either side. So I think we can put a pyramid here with a, yeah, coral growing up in front, obscuring that sh that shield bit a bit, but that's fine. Some fish here, which are technically turquoise, printed on a, yeah, printed on a sticker, so that's good. And over here, I can put a big starfish as a seat kind of thing. Look at that, that's so cute. I don't think we have room for anything else. So let's just see whether we can actually fit our catfish family into a little underwater vignette. So we can put the worried older sibling here on the bed. The cat can, the kitten can sit on here, I think. I mean, she's probably looking really worriedly at the kitten because, you know, it's under the water. It's not going to end well. It's been genetically modified, I'm sure. Now, and this little, uh, the little extremely happy younger sister, we can use the see-through bit to angle her and just make it look a bit more interesting than having her sitting directly on the star. <laughs> so she's perpetually annoying her older sister, maybe, while her older sister just worries about the cat and the f what life is she living here in her catfish family under the sea. Ah, and we can actually stand her up at the front. Look at that! I didn't even think about that when I was making it, but it's nice that there is room for her to stand up. So, look, it's a plan that I did not plan to come to plan, but we've used up all the coral pieces and quite a large component of my teal pieces, but this is not going to stop me because I want to make this... I want to try a Too Much Turquoise series because I've got so many characters in mind that I want to build for. I just don't have enough bricks. So, which would you like to see next? Do you want to see our boombox couple? Or maybe the fan fiction Elsa Anna squished in together. I don't even know how I can do this. I have so few turquoise bricks, but tell me. I love it challenged. <laughs> and you can watch me fail dismally if it doesn't go well. So that's always fun too, right? Okay, tell me in the comments what you want to see next. And I will very possibly pay attention to that. <laughs> right, I'll see you again soon. Bye.